Another element that's commonly used in video production is still images. Because of course you can tell a lot with a still image that's very different than the way you can with a, with a moving image and they work very well together. Final Cut Pro can make great use of still images in a variety of different ways. And of course a still image could be a graphics file or it could be a photograph. Uh, I'm going to start just by talking about working with some photographs. You can import photos that just the same way you import regular pictures or, or regular video just by going to the import media window. And in the import media window, navigate to, I have a folder on my desktop here uh, called Kroll Pics. If I open that up here, I see these are a bunch of photos I have. These are images of some of uh, the painter's work. And I've got these uh, images here that I can now treat. I can import them into the program. I'm just going to select them all. And when I say import, it's going to say, what event do you want to add them to? And the Alex Kroll event's the right one. And we can do the same sort of analysis, although, of course, it won't make any difference for audio and things like that. But, uh, you know, if I leave this import folders as keyword collections, that'll be helpful because then all of these still images will come in with the folder name, which was Kroll Picks. So I say import. And now if we expose the layers list here, you'll see here in the Alex Kroll event, I've got a new keyword collection called Kroll Picks. And here are each of those images. So very easy to access them. I can you know, get to them very quickly because I've got that keyword collection. And now I can work with those any way I want. I can uh, import them, lay them into a project and insert them or whatever I want to do with them. If you have images in your iPhoto library, you can access those from right, right from within Final Cut Pro as well. Go to the Photos uh, browser over here I'm going to click on that little camera icon it opens my iPhoto or it opens my photos library here and here's iPhoto and if you had aperture loaded that would show up too and here you can see all of your events all the events that are in your iPhoto or aperture libraries and you can go and navigate to individual events and open them up and select individual pictures if you had um, albums those albums would show up here as well you could go to look at individual albums or even uh, slideshows and things like that so you can access all the elements in your iPhoto library and and take advantage of whatever organization you've done there and then once you have these let's go back to the uh, art show and you can now import these in a number of different ways you can just drag and drop right to the timeline and add that clip to the timeline or that still image rather or you can bring things if you want to put them into an event I can drag let's just select a few of these here I'm just going to drag these right to my event now you can't drag into the event browser for some reason that, that software's got a quirk that way you have to drag into the libraries list and pick which event you want to put it into I could put it loose into the Alice Kroll event but I want to have the keyword applied so I'm going to drag them right to this keyword collection the Kroll picks keyword collection it's going to add those images and then they show up there in my keyword collection so I have access to those same images just as quickly by selecting that keyword collection and I can find them that way as well.